So apparently there's this new gadget called the iPad, plus a fan-made modification that I think is way cooler than the iPad. All of that coming up right here on this episode of Super Geek Saturday. beautiful mutants, Shane with a C-H here, and I'm here to share with you the good news of Geek. Let's talk about the iPad. <laughs> Where do we start? Well, the time has come, what we've all been waiting for, Apple has come out with a tablet. And the majority is, we're pretty disappointed. I'm an Apple head. I I love Apple, I love the stuff that they do, I love everything that they do, but you know, they always need room for improvement and that's exactly what the iPad brings with it most of all is room for improvement. As a general rule of thumb, you should never buy an Apple product when it first comes out because as we all know from example of like the iPhone and you know the iPods, they're going to come out with a cooler, cheaper version later on down the line and you're going to have to go through this whole refund, rebate process and you know the newer generation stuff is going to have way more cooler stuff than the older stuff and sometimes it's going to be compatible, sometimes it won't and it's this whole big headache so as a general rule, don't buy Apple products straight off the shelf. And now I want to talk about some of the things that are wrong with the iPad. Don't get me wrong, it's a revolutionary product. But if you compare it to the netbooks that are out there right now that already have been out for a while now, the iPad falls a little bit short of our expectations. And this is just a couple of things that the guys at Gizmodo agree with me on. Number one, hardware. No camera. What the hell? What good is a portable touchscreen device? It's basically a bigger version of the iPod Touch. It's got no camera, no microphone capability. It's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just so odd that they wouldn't include a camera. Second of all, no flash. No flash technology. And I know that Adobe, who's behind the flash technology, was actually really upset and they wrote a letter to Steve Jobs. You know, it makes sense because by not including the ability to watch flash videos, you're cutting off like 75% of the web, 75% of games, YouTube. I mean, even though YouTube, including the video you're watching right now, is encoded in the H264 codec, which makes it playable on iPhones. You know, it's still cutting off a lot of the things that people want to do on their mobile devices, like Farmville, and Hulu, and things like that. You know, while there is some hope because supposedly YouTube and um, some other video sites are switching from the Flash format to HTML5, which is supported in some mobile browsers, but I'm pretty sure that won't be available and up and running until quite some time. So in the meantime, we're stuck with Flash, and the iPad does not comply with that. Number three, it's not widescreen. It's not true widescreen. The aspect ratio is all weird, and so you're gonna wind up watching a movie in horizontal widescreen but the letterboxing is going to be thick and chunky kind of like the edges around the iPad itself you know it makes it weird to watch unless you want to distort it and watch it full screen but I mean what's the point of that you know and lastly a superficial reason why it sucks um the name seriously Apple iPad I mean I don't even work for Apple I didn't come up with the name in I was annoyed and pissed off with all the tampon and maxi pad jokes and spoofs and whatnot. Seriously, you guys, no tampon jokes anymore, please. I mean, someone brought up a good point. I mean, we make fun of the name now, but think about how much fun we made of the Nintendo Wii. And we just kind of take it for granted now. So, the Wii, the iPad, get over it. All right, now I wanna show you something really awesome that a guy did. He made a giant 
phone. <laughs> If you don't want to wait for the iPad, or you don't like the iPad, or you feel really crafty and you want to make your own, then why don't you do what this guy did? Uh, I'm linking it so you can check out the video and maybe you can decipher it and learn how to make it yourself. Um, but as with anything, you void the warranty once you break the case, so be careful. So that's going to do it for this episode of Super Geek Saturday. Thanks you guys for sticking around and for continuing to watch. I'm Shane with a CH. If you love me, subscribe. And also don't forget to subscribe to One Dose Daily, of course. And in the meantime, take care of each other. And until I see you next time, stay geeky.